Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40,000's KS Gate Demon Hunters with me, Kor. And as always, we are going to start by taking a look at the timeline here and going over a quick recap of past events. So looking at our timeline, 90% of it is as always wounds because apparently I'm just a very bad commander. <laughs> we also have the research for High Sanctuary being completed in 7 days, Grand Master's Report in 16 days, and then Lunette is perceptive for another 34 days. I, I'm really happy she's perceptive, but I have no servitors, so that's kind of problematic. Now, I'm kind of coming to regret the fact that we had requested additional Grey Knights from the last Grand Master's report. I think in the future I would definitely choose servitors, as that could, you know, definitely prove more valuable in the future. But for right now, we have to live with what we did. So, in the last mission, we did bring out our Kalidus Assassin for the very first time, took full wounds, but was extremely incredibly incredibly valuable uh closed down on the tentaris hive so that was a brand new mission type for me we are kind of being chased by a death guard uh, frigate or i guess barge battle barge so kind of trying to run away as much as possible we did get our gun batteries up to level two all integrity is still at two of three and our ship speed is at 120 percent right now so we're kind of stuck on there Regardless, we do have five requisitions, so let's go ahead and take a look at the mission that we're going to be going to next time. I would love to get to this one, which is adding another two, or this one, which is adding anything. Uh, some of the stuff there is very, very interesting. And if we look at this one, I'd love to get a tier two Narthesium, or maybe even a, an Apothecary, but unfortunately, just not within range. So, this is going to be our, our option here. So, looking at it, it is destroying the Bloom Spawn Spreader, and we get as a mission reward three Requisition, one Purgator, minus one Corruption, and the option of a rank four Purgator, tier two Storm Bolter, Warding Stave, tier two Terminator Armor, and a Servo Skull. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We will be able to make that in time to get eight Requisition for our Grand Master's Report coming up here. We look at the Armory. So we are doing pretty, pretty well here. So if we wanted to level up these guys in the future, uh, I think we're going to be looking at armor and war gear requisition. And maybe, I mean, if we have eight, we might as well upgrade all of them. I'm not really that concerned about the knights right now. We are leveling up fairly quickly. And on top of that, we have we have a ton of guys that are just kind of useless to us. Rao, Rithvain, and Kalmar. We may end up depending on some of the mission rewards, sending these guys back to Titan. Rithvain. Rithvain, sorry, not Rithvain. Uh, that'll give us an additional requisition. And in fact, if we wanted to do that beforehand, we could get all of the armory upgrades here, minus the Officio Assassinorum, which would allow us to, I'm assuming, get to Tier 2 equipment, which is quite nice. Alternatively, we could start getting more Tier 3 stuff here, which would be very, very valuable. But... Either way. All right, we're going to get going, and uh, I'll see you at the system if we don't have another intervention, but then. All right, and we have arrived, and just in time, High Sanctuary has completed. High Sanctuary gives all knights an additional three armor for five turns. Very powerful. And let's go ahead and look at our research now. So this did take... We are down to one Necrosis Seed. We do have several... Tentara seeds or the purple seeds, uh, which we'll be looking at in the barracks. But let's go ahead and do. I think we only have a, a surplus of green seeds right now. I don't even know if we could use anything that's purple. Yep, I don't see it. So we're going to go ahead and hit Bloom Suppression 3, which will give us minus 15% warp surge per turn, which I will find very valuable. We are dropping significantly in the Pox of seeds. We did. I can't tell if that's a 30 or a 38. Uh, but we did have, at one point, up to, I want to say, 50. So we are using them. Hopefully, effectively. We'll see. And let's go ahead and look at the barracks here. So, Estrius. Estrius. What a guy. What a guy he was. So we can additionally add two crit damage, or we can bring him into the support fire discipline. I think we'll do that, because that also gives us additional teleport. And additional teleport range, ah, maybe, okay, maybe we want to save it a little bit. Actually, yeah, let's just make sure that he's specced into one thing first. So we'll give him the crit damage, plus two crit. 
and an additional additional well excuse me five range on his teleport happy with that and then the other individuals that we can give a promotion Calidus. to is our Calidus assassin who is going to be out of commission for a, a little while only has three hp but at level three has gauge vulnerabilities which targets an enemy to afflict permanent vulnerability and then also death strike which gives an additional damage to the death strike ability so we like that let's go ahead and give that promotion and let's see what we're going to be bringing in to... Oh, okay, we weren't quite there. But all right. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Win the mission without Mastercrafted weapons. I think that's probably doable as we use those a little bit more than we do Mastercrafted... Or we use the melee weapons far more than we do the bolters. But I do want to take a look at the barracks here to see what kind of equipment we can upgrade with a red so we'll take that uh look at that and we'll be right back all right so we have a few guys from our last mission everyone is injured unfortunately so let's go ahead and clear these ones out so we can remove remove and then while i'd love to bring estrius again i don't think i can justify it so let's take a look at what we do have we do have iolanthus we do have Voldren. We do have our Vindicare and Eversor assassins, which are Eversor seems quite nice. And then lastly, I mean, I'd love to bring everyone that's not injured, but we could also bring in Boars here. Boars would be very nice for the additional AP. So looking at the inventories of our units here so we don't have any mastercrafted wep uh, ranged weapons equipped which is good we can do something better for boars guaranteed so perhaps hmm i like the halberd but maybe we bring in the warding stave for the additional uh aegis reaction chance plus focus We could alternatively look at something else. But for right now, let's go with Storm. Storm with the Falchions, maybe. Ah, interesting. Okay. So we already have the seal for the additional crit. And Righteous, 25% per turn. When this unit crits a target with a melee attack, it has a 25% chance to gain one AP. Wow. Which I don't think that... Storm actually has the... I'm going to forget the ability's name. What is it? Ruthless Precision, which is a 50% chance to gain 1 AP. But in theory, this could be both the crit and... Well, I guess you could potentially get up to 2 AP per crit, which is absolutely incredible. So that's something that we want to consider. Alternatively, we do have... Oh, no, we did not get that force sword from last time, which I'm, I'm still, I'm okay with that. That's not really a concern to me. We could do an additional Aegis reaction. Oh, maybe we could look at the, does this have any purple? No, it doesn't. I need to remember to do those purity seals. Let's see. So we have additional HP from these, which is nice. Additional immunity. So that's immunity to plague and all that, which we like. This one has additional armor, but we don't have anything to upgrade it with. I feel like we should probably give the additional armor to Iolanthus. Let's give you that. We'll give the... Excuse me. We'll give the Immune to Plague to Storm. And then I think with Storm, we will also give the standard falchion that we've been giving to Estrius. So Est he's not going to be as good with this as Estrius is, but uh, once we get him back, it'll be super nice. So we are down to four Tantara Strain Seeds. So we need to be a little bit careful with that. But otherwise, I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Ganis has his thing. Boars, we can upgrade your armor. So, let's see. So, this is immune to plague. Yes, so the mantle of purity is immune to plague. This is not. I mean, do we do we want to bring this? We, I feel like we kind of do. 
So it's just, it's an additional armor, it's an additional three HP, which is valuable since Boris is already a little bit low right now. So let's go with that. And then he does have the Sacred Incense, two max willpower, and a frag grenade. So then once we look at this, let's change Storm over to the Liber Demonica. Or let's add the Liber Demonica, excuse me. And we could alternatively trade out his frag grenade for something else. He does have quite a bit of willpower. But I think at this point, we're looking good. We are looking good. So we do have two grenades, which we can use whenever we need. Looking at the stratagems, I think we will probably switch out Quicksilver for High Sanctuary. Seems quite nice. We do have Prognosticar's influence, so we could do Immobilized as well. Alternatively, maybe having Strength of Spirit would be quite nice. Uh, I, th I think we'll we'll stick with Torpor for right now. What do? Man, I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth, but let's let's stick with Torpor right now. We don't have the Apothecary to provide the Biomancy, so let's just go with that. And we will be moving on. Everyone has their armor, everyone has their weapons, and looks like we're good to go. This hive world is overrun. The Astra Militarum has long since been routed. Nurgle tastes total victory. Let us snatch that morsel from him, eh, Commander? You are very confident. I, I question your confidence here, but I, I value it. Okay. So, destroy the Bloom Spawn Spreader. So we've dealt with this before. We don't need to fight the Bloom Spawn, but if it's within range, maybe it's worthwhile. We do see, wow, a reinforcement set. Very, very close. Let's see, where is the spreader? The spreader is, as presumed, all the way across the map here. We do have a couple things that we can do along the way here. So let's go ahead and start by figuring out. Okay, so you're staying still. So let's move everyone up. Yes. What is your will? Yes. Storm. Ah, oh, I haven't heard you in a while. There is corruption brooding here. Kind of that high English accent. What is your yes, will? Yes, yes, Julio. I wish I had an English accent, but nope. All right, and where is Gannis going to be going? Well, Gannis can probably just go ahead and close this off. <laughs> he always makes me laugh. Oh man, he's enjoying things way too much. All right, so we will not... Oh man, I, I don't really want to activate both of these pods. We could probably activate one of them, move in through here, and then go up through here, and then come around the top, or come in through here as well. But right now, I'm not prepared for it. So, yep, okay. So we did get that. I had that fear, but at least we're relatively in position. Alright, a little bit of plague there. Could we do friends on? We could do friends on here. Nope, we can't. Can't actually reach that, unfortunately. I'm here to serve. Teleport strike would work, but unfortunately, no one's in vision. Yes, commander. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, so I, I guess at this point, then we just kind of back off and moving out. Hope that they move into us, right? Which I, I don't think is a bad idea. Volta trained and ready. Okay. So we have you. Let's bring Voldred. Hold the other side of the door here. I will fire when ready. Gannis, what should you do? You should probably hide, yeah? Dash, dash. And then... Fours. Could also probably stay in a more defensible position. And then you can just hang a shot over here. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what the enemy does. Follow me, brothers. Oh, they're gonna come around the side. Ow. What a guy. Okay. 
So he's going to hit Gannis. Let's see. Let's see. Not the most predictable thing from my perspective, but you know what? I'm okay with that. So, opposing reinforcements are going the opposite direction, so you can go ahead and kill him. Oh dear. So I didn't think about this, but I did not bring any extractor skulls. The Emperor lights our path. So I perhaps what we need to do is, yeah, we'll just need to bring you over there. All right, so we get the red. I've claimed a seed. My blade is now Voldred. Standing ready. I think you could probably just. You're not going to be able to force strike because you're immune. But I mean, you could just do a ton of damage, right? Hopefully. There we go. We could armor pierce. We could disable the ranged weapon. I think we probably be armor pierce. And then if need be, we can always add additional AP through boars. Still alive. That's unfortunate. But tolerable. And then we could actually just give boars the kill here with your altar. Alright. So relatively painless. I, I say relatively, but... Now, where do you go from here? Frenzon, maybe? So if we Satrophine, we could then Frenzon. Which would cost four, five HP in total. Alternatively, we could do six and Incapacitate. Maybe that's, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Because as we've seen, he can drop a ton of- Oh, we didn't do the Satrophine. Darn it. Okay, well, uh, my mistake then. So you're gonna take some damage there. I apologize. Ah, what a smart guy I am. I am Anywho. You. Oh, you're gonna attack? Uh, okay. I <laughs> will take that. That's a- Give me a target. The AI has has helped me out here. Yes, yes, yes! All right, and we get the HP me, restored from here. So let's hit the Help bloom spawn vent. Is there another one over here that I'm not seeing? No. Storm. Right, that's fine. Bring everyone up. We're gonna go through here as we had initially planned. Your orders. Iolanthus, you can move. And we need to remember that Storm does have immunity to play. And the last move here. So we can get a free... Free bloom spawn turn off of this. Oh no, that's that's uh nice. That is not bloom spawn. That is actually a seed. Free seed, I say. Praise the emperor. Everyone move up. And then we need you to move up as well. I'm assuming that there's not anything out here, as I haven't seen anything yet. But either way, let's go ahead and get that vent. Just to make sure. Steady and surely. And there we are. Them. Okay. Ready. Must attack. Move everyone up here. That was a very interesting yeah. reflection there. This seems so much easier compared to the last mission. <laughs> I already see how we're gonna win and, and it's almost done. Let's get everybody moved up here. We'll let the... Hmm. Where's the reinforcements? They were right here, yes? Oh, yes, they did. They were. And then we... So let's... 
move over here. There's the reinforcements. Okay. So it's likely that they would be coming in the next turn or so. Let's just move up as much as we can. Ganis, you come around. I thought I saw an arrow on that, but maybe I missed it. Yeah, okay, so you are moving to the right here. My blade is ever ready. So perhaps what we do then is we just hang out. Let them go for another turn. Assuming they don't see us through the window, which they very well may. We also want to get that as well, so we'll probably get that before we do very anything. Ready. Haven't had much of an opportunity to extract Bloom Seed, so we'll take that. And I don't think thus far that we have any red, so go ahead and let them move. Warp Surge, minus one HP. We can deal with that. Alright, and I think that what we're doing is we're going to go... I don't really want to do it with you, but, I mean, that's kind of the option, right? So, let's go ahead and hit this Bloom Spawn Spore. Alright, so I see five Plague Marines. Just look at the vile thing. Show it no mercy. Alright. The warp shudders below. Be swift, Commander. The enemy attempts to intervene. I think this is very, very doable. Oh, and a reinforcement's right on top of us, huh? Okay, so I see Bloom Spawn Vents 1 and 2. Let's get the Spore here. Oh, no. We heard you coming. There's another one. That's not good. Advancing. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, how much do you have? Is it even worth fighting you on that? You have, th oh, you have three Bloom Spawn Seeds. I mean, yes, it's definitely probably worth it, but also I don't know that I can actually justify that. What I do need to justify, though, is Satrophine Stims. We'll come out and we'll just do a massive attack on you. So you are completely immune, unfortunately, to bleed, but that doesn't really matter that much. See, now Quicksilver would have been quite nice, but eh, it doesn't really matter. Now, can we do anything else? You could... Neuro Gauntlet. I suppose we could have also used the killer thing, but no problem there. Just use Gate of Infinity. And then how are we to going serve. to play this? So... Unleash me. You can attack here. Do a four strike for an extra 20% damage. Or 20% crit, excuse me. Get two damage off of that. We'll try that again. No crit on that, but that's okay. We can give... Well, we could hammer hand, which is four plus two plus two. Alternatively, let's give Honor the Chapter to Iolanthus. Because he does a ton of damage, a metric ton. So we can do max of 14 versus more than that. And there we go. Easy. So now you only have 11 HP remaining, which we can kill very quickly Vengeance with you. And then I guess we could hammer hand just for the funds. Your end is victory. A battle well fought All right. and won, Commander. We have dealt the enemy a major blow today. You will rise again. So we lost the three bloom seed at the end, but honestly, I'm not that upset about it. We did get a few in the background anyway. And we didn't bring the extractor servo skull, so that was definitely my bad on that one. Regardless of that, we did collect eight Bloom Seed, which was great. So a few from the mission itself, and then also our rewards. 
So we did get a Purgator, rank one, minus one corruption, and let's see what we have in the armory. I highly doubt anything is going to be that excessive, but. Okay, range 20 and reveal vulnerable for two turns. Within blast area two, quite nice. Tier two armor gives, and this is Terminator armor, which gives two health, two armor, additional grenades, area, excuse me, and additional grenade ammo. I would actually really enjoy that. Warding stave with four damage, 25% chance for an auto reaction, willpower, nothing special there. Five damage, storm bolter with plus two cybolt damage. Nice, nice, that's quite nice. And then a purgatory. Because we are so close to the Grand Masters thing, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it drop. And let's see what we got. All right, and Iolanthus coming with the promotion here. All right, well, that was a relatively quick mission. I, I think that was, we'll say somewhat well executed. There were definitely some alternative strategies that we could have taken advantage of, but I'm overall happy with it. So thanks uh, for stopping by. If you're here at the end, thank you for watching all the way through the video. If you skipped to the end, I'd recommend you go watch the mission nice and clean. And uh, in our next episode, we'll go ahead and start with the promotions here and move on to our next state of the campaign. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.